because I'm going to be doing another Halloween costumes video. So this one is going to be a bunch of last minute ideas you can do either with your friends or with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or just by yourself. So there's a bunch of variety in this video for you guys. I seriously had so much fun filming this video, like dancing around my room in costumes, so much fun. So I really hope you guys like this video. Hopefully it's helpful and can help you decide what you're going to be for Halloween if you still don't know yet, like me because I have no idea. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new. If you guys want to help me out and uh, comment down below which costume I should be for Halloween, it would be super appreciated. And you can also comment which costume is your favorite or what you're going to be for Halloween. We can all just help each other out. And with all that being said, let's just get started with the video. So the first costume is Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy, or you can be really any character you want. All you need is some blue scrubs, maybe some pens or a clipboard to hold, a stethoscope if you want to be really extra, and a name tag of your favorite Grey's Anatomy character. I have surgery to get to. Next we have Boo from Monsters Inc. She is so adorable and I was actually her for Halloween last year. So it's super simple. All you need is a big oversized pink t-shirt, some purple leggings, and put your hair in some pigtails. And then you can carry around a stuffy and say Mike Wazowski and then you're Boo. And I did a more in-depth costume for Boo and Mike Wazowski last year that I will link down below. This one is one of my personal favorites and that is a frat boy. This is so stereotypical, I know, but I think it's so funny. So I actually thrifted this bright polo and I put some sunglasses around my neck, put my hat on backwards, wore some tall socks, some shorts, and just acted really douchey and cringy. Next we have The Purge. This is another one of my favorite costumes. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. May God be with you all. So all you need for this is a purge mask. I actually painted mine myself. And then I just got this bloody axe from the dollar store. And I got a huge oversized t-shirt from the thrift store, covered it with blood and ripped it up. And there you go, the purge. And now we have the most iconic costume, which is a cheetah girl. I am wearing my garage velour tracksuit. I'm obsessed with it. And then I got this cheetah-licious headband and, you know, got to throw in those cheetah girl moves. And there you have it. You are a cheetah girl. And this would be such a good group costume for you and your BFFs. Love it. Now we have Lola Bunny from Space Jam. I loved that movie growing up. So I'm just wearing a white tank top and then I printed out a Toon Squad logo and just taped it on. I'm also wearing some blue leggings but you can wear gym shorts or whatever you want. And then I just added some bunny accessories like a headband and a bunny tail and just threw around a basketball. To be Mavis from Hotel Transylvania, which is honestly one of my favorite movies, all you need is a black dress and some bat wings. I just threw on some dark lipstick. And then to complete the Mavis look, you can throw in some bangs and you can add some red and black tights. And don't say blah, blah, blah. And there you have it. You are Mavy Wing. To be Georgie from It, all you need is a yellow raincoat or rain poncho and a red balloon. That's pretty much it. This one is super easy and everyone will know exactly who you are. To be one of the three blind mice, this would be a good group costume as well. I just wore the same black dress as Mavis, put on some sunglasses, some mouse ears, and carried around a little walking stick. And you can really wear whatever you want as long as it's all black and you got the mouse ears and the sunglasses. Alvin! And another group costume idea is Alvin and the Chipmunks. So here I am Simon. I just put my hair in some space buns to create their ear kind of look. And then I wore my glasses and a big oversized blue t-shirt. 
And you can also put a label on the back to say what chipmunk you are, just so your costume is a little bit clearer. So that is it for all of my last minute Halloween costume ideas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Since this is going to be my last Halloween video of the year, I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. Get spooky. Don't be too crazy. And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm actually filming on a new lens right now. This is the Canon 50mm 1.8 lens. That's why my background is a little blurrier. I really like it, but um, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it being so zoomed in so if you guys have any experience with the 50 millimeter lens or any other lens that's super zoomed in please 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 give me some tips and advice down below i'm like still working on how to use it and everything so bear with me my videos will get better i promise and i think that is everything so i will see you guys in my next video bye i love you Yo flow too, yo flow too, yo flow too, yo flow too, yo flow too. It's going to just dance with my shadow. Let's <laughs> ride. I'm pulling my way.